What's going on guys, welcome back to Quave Plays Games, and welcome to the start of a new little series for my channel. Uh, today, in this video, I am going to be beginning the process of planning and starting a new city in City Skylines. Uh, since City Skylines 2 is coming out within the next couple of months, I thought it might be fun to do a little video just kind of showing how I like to play the game, you know, maybe for people that are new to the game and they want to learn a little bit about how it works. Now, I'm going to be talking about that and how the series works for the first five or so minutes of this video, so if you want to skip ahead and skip all that and just watch me play, go ahead, skip ahead a few minutes. Basically, so the way that this series is going to work is I am playing with unlimited money, uh, and I'm playing with a ton of mods, and I'm doing that just because I'm not so worried about building a city from the ground up and, and letting it grow so much as this series of videos I'm gonna make. I'm kind of gonna be master planning a city. Uh, I chose a map that's gonna be a real challenge for me. Um, I've, I have almost 3,000 hours on this game. I've been playing it for a long time. Uh, and I've gotten pretty good at building like good looking big grid cities and stuff like that. But if you look at this map, you can see that all of these little waterways and, and the coastlines and everything are super jaggedy and, and not very uniform and it's going to be an interesting challenge to create street grids and, and, and make everything look natural and somewhat realistic. And the hardest part and, and the most important part is choosing a map. And like I said, I've picked one that's going to be hard, so we're going to see how this goes, but I chose that for a reason. Um, so once you're in your map, uh, and, and you have all this space available. The first thing that I like to do is I go up here to go display the different views, uh, and I go and I find my natural resources button. And then from here, I look around at the map and I see where key natural resources are. You can see there's a ton of oil over here. So what I like to do is I come in here and paint a district style, uh, or uh, paint an oil district rather, all over this whole thing. This is all gonna be an industrial site. I shouldn't build any neighborhoods there in the meantime. Um, this is just kind of like a little reminder that this area is going to be industrial. Um, this one over here, I think we could actually kind of terraform this into a good, a nice looking harbor kind of situation. So I actually am going to mark this one, just so I remember. As for uh, the fertile land, we have that everywhere in this map, really. And I'm not so concerned with the fertile land here. Um, because this is so central, I, I probably don't want to build any farms here. I'd, I'd probably prefer to have farms more on the outskirts of the map. So then the, the last thing I should kind of be concerned about for now uh, are some of these uh, mining industries. So you can see they're all definitely sort of on the outskirts of the map. There's actually, it looks like only one in the uh, 25 tile central area. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this. It's right by the freeway, so really good access to get any goods that are, or any materials that are produced here, get them up and out of here. The other thing that I want to look around the map to kind of figure out is our outside connections. Uh, so you can see, if we look at this map, we have two different highways coming in from the top. Uh, one kind of comes this way and snakes down. Um, if you look over here, you can find our rail line, which for most of its route just kind of, you know, is married to this highway and just kind of follows it all the way. Then it makes a diversion over here, which this is actually a good time to maybe mark this as uh, an industrial area as well. So I know in the future that'll be an industrial area because nobody really wants to live between like the train track and the highway. I may or may not rework some of how this works. We'll see, I'm gonna come back to this in a minute. Uh, but you can see that the rail line terminates right here. Uh, and this tells me a couple of things. First of all, this is an ideal spot for some kind of cargo hub. Um, you know, we have access to this rail right here, but also all of this water for boats to come in. Okay, so another thing that I like to do once I kind of establish some of these aspects of my city is I like to look at real life cities that have a similar landscape or topography to the map that I'm playing on. Um, so for this map, this is actually super similar to Boston in a lot of ways, uh, which is pretty cool. I think it would even be interesting to have an airport here with ferry access. So if any folks do live kind of over here, um, maybe that work at this industry, they could, you know, 
still be connected to the airport. If there are any areas in your map that are super pretty or just super interesting, like areas like this maybe where there's just interesting rocks and trees and stuff like that, uh, you could, if you'd like, mark that as a park area. This little peninsula here, I really like this for some reason, I don't know why. I really think that this should be a waterfront park. And then maybe there's a harbor where people can have their boats and whatnot, and then they have this nice park to enjoy. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm kind of almost in favor of, of keeping this industrial and then putting the downtown possibly here, here, or here. Because we are going to decide that this is going to be the airport after all. Okay, I've done it. I've settled on an area. Downtown is going to be right here, adjacent to the park that I just zoned. Wave Hopolis. Beautiful. Okay, so this is going to be our downtown, and we have to think about how we're going to get cars and people in and out of here. I'm going to go ahead. I like this six lane road with the median. It's like a nice. Nice pretty drive, it's nice to walk down to. It's just kinda cool for everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and snap the road to the ground. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at my terrain height. And I'm just gonna have this road follow this little bump in the, uh, in the ground here. We have to decide what kind of interchange we wanna have here. And obviously we can always upgrade it later, but I'm gonna turn the snapping off and I'm gonna just for now, okay, I'm gonna raise this like 12 meters. Or, actually they say nine's doable. Boom, let's try nine. That, I guess that's okay. That's pretty tight, but yeah, that works. Uh, and then let's think about where this road might go on the other side here. Obviously we already have this big highway going this way. But I could f see this whole area getting some good development, so maybe we could just have this road go through straight through here, maybe even tie back up to this highway, we'll see. So for now, I'm just going to put this back on the ground, using page up and down, and boom. Okay guys, Quave in the editing room right now, I forgot to mention, uh, I'm going to put a list of all of the mods that I'm using for this build in the description. There's quite a lot of them, so if you don't really know that much about modding, uh, you can definitely just like watch a YouTube video, um, but it's super simple. Um, if you already know all that stuff, good for you. I'm just going to put all the stuff I use down in the description. Um, but yeah, if you see me referencing any things and you're like, wait, that's not in my game, it's because it's a mod that I have. And you can have it too, if you play on PC and click the link. Alright, that's it. Okay, so I'm just going to put that like there for now. We'll worry about that later. And let us just make a very simple little interchange here. So I'm just going to... Alright, so now we have our very basic and simple and not super pretty interchange. Um, it's getting a little close to those train tracks. I'm just gonna scooch those over. So now we have our road leading towards our downtown area. And now we got to think about how we want our downtown area to work. Um, right over here we have our train track. So I think it might make sense to have um, a downtown train station of some kind over in this general area. I'm gonna get just a basic road with sidewalks for right now. I'm going to put it down about there. I'm going to grab this multi-platform train station. And I'm going to sneak it in right there. So let me get rid of this and yeah, I think that's probably pretty good right about there. So yeah, unless... Okay, no, I changed my mind. I'm going to move it way closer to the freeway. Just because this is a big, loud, noisy train station, we might as well put it by the big, loud, noisy freeway. 
I feel like that makes sense. And I'll, you'll see when I play this game, a lot of the things I do are temporary because a lot of what playing this game is, is you develop, but then you redevelop. And it's always kind of fun. And it it's, provides challenges and it's a really cool way to play the game. All right, cool. So you can see the way I did that, that left room for the rest of the street to be zonable. Uh, and hopefully we can have like some cool shopping or something along the street. Let's think here. Right after this uh, interchange, I think it might actually make a lot of sense for there to be a roundabout right here. So working with roundabouts in this game is sometimes a little bit tricky. So the best way to keep your roundabout from getting kind of messed up... Uh, Pearl, stop! <coughs> stop doing that. So one of the best ways to prevent your roundabouts from getting kind of messed up when you're working on them is to build a little crutch on the inside like that. The rest of it won't get deformed. All right, so then we'll put this road kind of going in that general direction. We'll figure out exactly where it goes in a minute. Um, and then we'll send this one kind of up that way. And I won't overbuild this just yet, because uh, you can see, like, even though we are playing with infinite money, I want our city to be profitable. Um, and building all, this ro all these roads really makes us spend a ton of money, so I'm not really going to do all that right now. But I want to have a general sense of where these are going to go. Um, so I kind of built the first little bit of them. So now to finish off where this train station goes. And this is just a good way for me to start my cities because this determines where a lot of people are getting in and out. So like tourists and people here on business, whatever. They're coming in through here. A lot of them anyway. Um, and then that kind of determines a lot of our public transit network. Because if you look, the... Uh, train station I chose has a, a metro station tied in with it so we know that there's gonna be a subway station right there and so that can give us a better idea of where we're gonna um, have public transit and that can help shape the city that we're gonna end up making but let's make a nice entrance uh, for people to get from the train station to this main road here I'm gonna do another road with a median just because I think that would be nice for traffic in an area like this. And I'm just gonna do one lane on either side, just one in and one out. We can always upgrade it later. But boom, and let's change the way that the trees look. If you don't know, you can go into the tree menu right here. And you can pick a tree just like that, and just boom, click on the road. And look how much better that looks. Beautiful. So we have our train station. We're gonna I'm gonna do a little bit for our downtown network. So I'm gonna figure out where the roads coming off of this main road are going to go. And to do that, I'm going to look at my terrain. You can see it's all pretty flat down here. The way that this terrain is looking, it almost makes me want to put a road going this way, which I think is kind of an interesting idea. And I'm going to do that. I also want to put some parallel to this road. There's already a little node there, so I'm just going to use that opportunity. build that uh, in parallel to the thing. And that does look a little bit weird because there is some strangeness in the terrain there. But that's the type of weirdness where I'm not above just like smoothing it out. You know, I don't really like building super unrealistic roads, but when stuff like this happens, you can just like hit the landscape tool and then it looks somewhat normal and then the buildings fill in the rest. I'm really not mad at that. It's not completely flat, but it's fine. And then we have a nice opportunity to kind of continue this grid naturally here. I'm going to use the roads with uh, trees for now. Now with this, we have a little bit of, a, of some weirdness because of the shape of this. And we have a couple of options here. We can line this with buildings, so buildings are on the, the edge of the water. We could line the water with a road like this. So the edge of the street is just the seaside and there's nothing built there. Or we can leave the waterfront uh, kind of for pedestrians and just have paths and parks and stuff like that. So that's something you're going to want to ask yourself when you're dealing with a re 
resource like uh, a lake or a sea or a river is what do you want to do with the area where the city meets the water? Okay, I've decided that for this road that comes out of the train station here, I think it might be kind of cool to have it uh, kind of go out and just hug the waterfront here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now you can see the grid of our downtown is now connected up with our train station. It's not much yet, uh, in fact there's probably room for many more roads, but it's starting to sort of weave some threads that will be the fabric of the city, which is cool. Um, things are kind of starting to take shape, which is super exciting. So I'm going to end this video on that note, just walking you through my process of planning out where things are going to go and just beginning the downtown street grid. Um, hopefully, you know, maybe you learned something new. Uh, if not, and you want to teach me something new, you got some new ideas for me to try in the next video, please let me know. Um, I would happily take suggestions for things to build, uh, for maybe lore of the city that we're building, like what's the story here, why does this city exist, um, maybe some names of people that, that started industries or stuff here so we can maybe get a little lore going would be super interesting. Um, but yeah, that's the first episode. Basically just how to how to figure out where things should go and, and start your downtown. So thanks for watching. And if you join in part two, there'll be a lot more action and a lot more actual building and a lot less sped up gameplay of me just trying to figure things out because by that point we will have built a little bit of the city. So yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in part two. Later.